surprise, surprise. Bobby Wolfie here, and welcome again to El Campo Santo Cemetery. Of course I'm back, because for some reason I'm addicted to this place. Here's Rosa. Hi, Rosa. How you doing? Just hanging out today. I am here. Here I am. Last time we saw an orb thing that I didn't see in real life, but I thought something was watching me, and I turned around and gasped, and I was like, I thought that headstone was a person. And you know what? It was orbs. I feel like something touching my hair, but I think it's just being pulled by the hair tie. I honestly don't know if I'll catch anything on on video. Oh my god. This stone, I thought it was a person. That scared me. Now I'm starting to scare myself. When there's nothing, here, it's fine. It was energy. Balls of energy is what orbs are, or what I believe they are anyway. It doesn't necessarily have to be a ghost, but it's balls of energy. There was a lot of energyly charged-ness here. Last time I was here, I'm here right now. Everything, everything seems kind of different here, like, I, I don't know why everything feels so different. Maybe because there's random flowers, guys. Look at these flowers. I'm using my new setup today, by the way. I'm very excited about this. Also, it is about midnight right now, so that's something I should probably mention, I think, maybe. There's a filter on the light this time, so it's not over blurring my life away. Okay, so, focus. Focus groups. Um... So I notice a lot of energy happening around this one. The one where I actually looked this person up online and they were like, they immigrated from another country and somewhere in Europe, I think, I can't remember. But um, I was learning a little bit about them and I my ability to retain knowledge is impossible. So uh, around this one too, I'm like these are the two for me. Like, because around this area is where I keep catching stuff. Like, over here, I felt like something touched my back, like, to the point where it was, like, I really felt something touching my back. And then, this is where I was going, and I spun around, and I was like this. And then I went like this. And then I went like this. What is that? What is that? Do you see that? Whoa, what's that? Look, somebody left a top hat and a golf ball and a lantern. And in here, I saw something shining. And it is... It's flowers, I can't get it with that. It's flowers. Hmm. That's nice. It's nice when people leave things. There's even chips and a soda over there. Oh, there's stuff all over this place. Look at all this stuff. Day of the Dead happened. That's why. It was Day of the Dead ceremony, I think. I think it happened. Is that the same day as Halloween? I don't know about holidays. I'm very brave this time because I know everything here is fine. Look like I saw something over here too. See, I don't look in the camera screen. I'm looking like at the world right now and holding the camera screen the direction that I'm looking and that's how things happen, I think. But I noticed in a lot of people's videos that if you take your camera and you swing it over real fast and don't look you can catch things that way because they don't you catch everything off guard there's a bug right there i don't know if this i got a joby holder phony thing i don't think it's i don't think it holds the phone very well this train is going berserk berserk train moment oh my god i'm blind hey rosa rosa has flowers guys okay I have a major question about this place. Was this here before, these big flowers? Because I do not even remember, like, these flowers right here. And I don't think that, I mean, people brought flowers and stuff, but I don't think that you can, like, fake naturally grown flowers. These are paper. Never mind, never mind. I get it now. It's Day of the Dead. It's fine. See? Proof. That happened, and that man is still there. There he is. He's just being this man. Okay, I honestly was not gonna come here tonight because I didn't think about it until like 
I was driving down the freeway and was like, I'm going to go check out a location real quick. And then the location that I checked out was like two minutes away from here. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to record a video tonight because I need to get out of the house and do some things. I just did the fish show and I did the Balboa Park overnight and the video disappointed me a bit. So that's how I felt about that one. I don't know. It's not that great of a video. Like nothing happened. I was afraid to make any noise. It was my fault. I was a weenie. Okay, I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna sit in this spot for a while. You know, look over the fence. There's nothing that's gonna murder me, which is great. Except there's a pizza box right there. So maybe there's someone over here. Is that pizza? I mean, like, were they able to pay the pizza man for delivering pizza here? That's not pizza. These are the plaques for here. This is Anita Gillis. Who else here? Jesus. I just found Jesus. All right. Okay, so we found Jesus and Anita Gillis. All right. It's about time I found Jesus. Look at this. There's Anita Gillis right here. Oh, I can put her thing back. I don't know where Jesus is, but you know what? I can put hers back. There you are. Right there. See? There. I beautified. It's fixed. There you go, little girl. Oh, I don't want to read about the people because I'll be sad. I always... Right here. Again, I feel like there's somebody behind me watching me. And instead of going, <gasps> or being shocked, I'm not. Just, oh my god, I keep tripping over these little dots, which are dead markers, and oh my god. Here's this beautiful one. Jose has a beautiful thing. This one creeps me out. It's always bent over, and it's just, just gotta get physical with these things. There's spider living in every inch of this. Can I, like, loosen this light bulb up at all? Oh, not that loose. I just saw probably a bug. Like this is the hot area right here. This grave, that grave, that grave, and that grave. And this one maybe. My back hurts right now. Like I actually just got pains in my spine. But that might just be me being broken. So I mean, okay, this is the one that I swear, sorry, my light is too bright. This is the one that I swear has a lot of like things going on about it. Because I mean, it's, there are like maybe this many people buried here and like, dang, this man and all his children. I don't know if the man is actually buried here because on here it just says in memory of all his children. Or wait, maybe, wait, in memory? Of Sally, Poncho, John, Joseph, Matilda, Felipe, Julian, Jr. Beloved children of... This means that they're dead, right? And then underneath it says, Weep not, dear father and mother, for we wait in glory for you. R.I.P. So, like, who's here? The kids or the parents? or Because online it says that the father is here. On Wikipedia, of all places. If you believe... If you look up... Julian Wilbur Ames, he's on Wikipedia. He is famous. More famous than me, I don't have a Wikipedia. Guys, start a Wikipedia for me, PLZ. My energy is like super high right now and my back is like super broken. Remember, oh, oh man. Look, look at what moved into the gunshot spider location. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. <sighs> Oh, he went into a little cave. It's fine. He's in his little cave house. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to stick around in this area, to be honest. I kind of want to do something a little crazy. I want to sit right here, to be honest. Because even just now, I feel like I saw something go behind that tree. Um, We're such a little cemetery. Dang, this place is lit, lit, lit. Ooh. There's a little creeping eyeball right here. Look at this. Look at the eyeball in this wood. It's watching. It's watching. Mm. So, should I sit down and sit a while? I'm too antsy for this. Okay, guys. I'm 
gonna do something a little crazy. Okay, so sitting on the ground did basically nothing. There's somebody laying over there. And that is a person, not a place or thing. Rosa. Rosa, you got so much love. That is awesome. Who is this? Who is this? I don't remember this being right here. Dedicated by the daughters. Oh, it's a, an award for a Rosa. Oh, they gave flowers. These flowers were here last time, I think. Were they here last time? They weren't as dead, but they were here last time. God! What in the world? Do you see what I see today? Like, it is literally like spider land here. See it right there? Ooh. Hello. Mr. Ames. Julian. Julian Ames. Hi. Also, hello Sally Ames, Poncho Ames, John Ames, Joseph Ames, Matilda Ames, Felipe Ames, Julian Jr. Ames. It's always right here where I see stuff, right in this little area. Thought I saw something. Who knows though? The little bumble bear. Aww. Look at the bumble bear with the band-aid. He's so cute. Putting my hand on definite, definite spider locations. Oh my god, I just sat my hand on that. Oh, the spiders have like really hardcore, like taken over this place. Look at that. Ooh, horrifying spider. Ooh, I'm sorry. Ooh. Like over here on this side. Apparently there's a bench somewhere, and people feel Rosa's sadness because Rosa died young and married or something. So, oh, I'm gonna go say hi to Rosa. This gate just opened. I am in the Rosa house, not disrespectfully, but I am in it, and I am. There it is. Hi, Rosa. How you doing? I hadn't realized that all of these are just like gates and that you could walk in and walk out. And like just have a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, you don't have to climb it. There's a door. Everybody knows there's a door. I honestly, I was holding this for the thumbnail photo because I know what I'm going to name this video now. And I don't know where to put I mean I guess I'll put it back on the wall but I mean okay because I found hers but a lot of these don't have any records like unless like somebody who knows this place well comes and they fix it. Okay, that girl is gone and the four guys over there are gone because they're inside that building working at 1 a.m. for some reason, so. I'm alone now. I thought I saw somebody standing here and I like looked back with my eyes, but I didn't move my camera, so we'll see. We'll see. A lot of these, like last time I came, when I caught the orbs, I was like, well, it was a fun video, but I didn't catch anything. You never know until editing. You never know. Until you're, like, because when I'm editing is the only time I can watch the footage. Because my computer won't even run, like, Windows Media Player right now. So while I'm going through and cutting up the footage, like, I don't edit in anything. None of my videos are faked. 
I don't edit in anything. None of my videos are faked. I just cut up the video. I cut out all the boring parts because I am really boring a lot of the time. <laughs> like, I'm probably really boring right now. So that's... So yeah, I usually cut out a lot of stuff. But my point was that last time I thought I didn't catch anything, and in the end, I kinda did. So, you never know. And ironically in the video, I was standing here and I was like, you know, I don't think I'm gonna catch anything, which is how like pessimistic I was about this. I was like, I don't... stop being blurry. I don't think I'll catch anything. <gasps> and I went like this and there was a bunch of orbs that flew by. My reenactments, aren't they great? I'm a very good reenactor. And, uh, yeah, I caught those because I felt like something was watching me behind, over my shoulder. And I just went, oh, and there it was, you know, so who knows. I'm dwelling now. I should probably end this video. The funny thing about ghost stuff, as I, I give you more panning shots of things you've seen a thousand times, are that there are so many videos on the internet that claim real ghosts and you never know who to trust. That's kind of a bummer. That's why I don't want to fake anything. If there's something here, I want people to know that there's something here for something. If there's nothing, like, if I don't catch anything in a video, I just won't upload the video and I'll come back another night and try again, you know. Um, sometimes I upload the videos if there's nothing, but only if I think the content is good. Like, I've been here, this is maybe my sixth or seventh time here, and I've only shown two videos, or two or three, if you include the live stream. But that live stream was taken the night that I recorded a different video, so that I didn't put up, by the way. So, yeah, I guess that counts as three times. That was, I don't know. But, um, anyway, yeah, it is a shame that people would fake stuff for views and money and all that stuff. Luckily, I'm not used to having money or views, so I don't have to fake anything. I'm comfortable with my poor life. <laughs> Has this always been here? Because I've never looked at it before. Ooh, that's there. Let's go down on the street real quick. We've been here so many times and I never go and film the graves in the street. So I feel like that is something worth doing. Oh, that's creepy. See these markers? See these markers in the street? And here's the Here's the map of them. Oh geez, inches from the hood of my car is one right here. Oh, I wonder if I'm on top of one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I am going to end this video. Yeah. I am going to end this video here. If you like what you saw today, leave a like if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to comment on this video. I get back to all comments. And subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, don't subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter for more. And I will see you all in the next video. One second, I have a sneak preview of a future location coming up. So let me show you the sneak peek of that.